Hello and welcome, it's time for a new YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are diving into an application I've talked about previously, but uh, I thought that it was time to do an updated review on this application because these applications I'm covering, they change a lot and they change quite quickly, so I need to always update my um, reviews and uh, just my tutorials of different uh, applications but today we are taking another look at an application called fabric fabric is you can think of it as something like my mind a bookmarking uh, and note taking app it excels at bookmarking but it can also do a lot of the things you expect from uh, expect from a note-taking application. So it's sort of a blend with a lot of AI. I would say even more AI than uh, you have inside of something like my mind. And the whole idea of an application like this is that um, you capture things in here, you set it, you forget about it, and you will always be able to find what you are looking for. So let's just go quickly over some of the features and let's actually start down here uh, with connections, which are basically integrations and there aren't that many yet, or there are a few, but there are a couple missing uh, or a couple I can't get to from right here. Uh, and there are more coming soon. That was what I was going to say because I know that there, has been uh, a lot of people has been waiting to get uh, more of these integrations. I think the Readwise one is really important for a lot of people. The Figma one might be really important for a lot of people. But as of right now, you have iOS screenshots, you have Google Drive, you have GitHub stars, um, and you have Notion. Uh, in my case, the Google Drive one and the Notion one even though I don't use Notion anymore. It could be cool uh, ones. Uh, GitHub stars, iOS screenshots, um, not really that important to me. But these are basically integrations. Um, you have your tags right here. It can also create a new tag from the tag menu. Uh, we can go into the next thing where you have your spaces. Think of these as folders, but a little bit smarter. Let me just add one so I can add a new, call it uh, folder uh, inside of here. A lot of these applications have uh, folders and it actually calls it, you can actually create subfolders within your space. So maybe uh, calling it uh, a folder isn't the right thing. Uh, but let me just go ahead and delete this. So these are basically folders. I can jump into one of these and I can upload things, I can do a voice recording. This is on the pre plan, uh, the paid plan, which I don't have. Um, there you can do voice recordings. Here you can do basic note taking um, that works with, uh, that works with Markdown, which is something you would expect from an application like this. So these are more like post-it notes, quite similar to something you would see in Google Keep. You can also do indexing and analyzing with AI. I'm not sure that is something, uh, or it does indexing and analyzing with AI, but I'm not sure that is actually something Google Keep can do, at least not yet. Uh, you can upload files in here, so I can uh, open up and upload a file or upload a full folder. So let me just upload one of my YouTube thumbnails. Where did it go? Let's try again, uh, double click here, open and save. Here we have it. So this is the thumbnail from one of my previous videos. Uh, so that is the things you can add. You can also add them from uh, your home page. Uh, where this application actually does a good job is uh, with um, search. Search is really important in an application like this. So. Uh, let's say I wanted to search for this. I think this is an image. It is, so I can search for a uh, style journal and it will find that within here because it has uh, OCR so it can search for text within images. Uh, so here it searches for style journal. I can also do a search for Mond for example and it will find uh, Mond right here because style journal is in here as well. So just to double check that this works. 
uh, you can search for mod and fabric will find that as well. From here you can actually download the thing, you can add a tag to it, I won't do that. Um, but that is a couple of things you can do. I can just show that one more time by writing ms, it will find the other YouTube thumbnail I tested. There is uh, another cool thing uh, you can do within this application and that is the AI chatting ability. So I can press this button on the right uh, corner down here uh, and it opens up um, the Ask Fabric Assistant. This is a part of the paid experience, but here I can talk with uh, my AI assistant and this understands everything from notes, links, images, audio, video, markdown, PDFs, TXT, HTML and JSON. So you can ask it questions about what you have inside of here. Um, I have tested it out. It isn't perfect, but it is actually quite good. Uh, just like all of the other AI chats we have inside of different applications. So this uh, right uh, button down here to chat with your AI, that has actually been improved a little bit. Uh, most of the things they seem to be improving right now is these connections or integrations and the general UI of the application. Um, also the global search is here now. I don't think that was here the last time I checked, uh, I checked this application out. Uh, and uh, just to show you how this search works as well, so you can search for uh, text within your uh, different articles that you've saved. And you can use the web clipper to save articles. So I can click this and it actually opens uh, the article. I can press this to go to Medium and read that article. Or I can actually ask my AI about it if I wanted to. Let's go ahead and just delete this. Um, so basically what this application wants you to do is to save everything inside of here uh, and uh, forget about it, come back and search for exactly the thing you need. I like the experience. I probably would not be able to use an, use an application like this, uh, but I think the experience is uh, really, really good. And I like the idea of the application. I like the AI. I like the fact that it has a lot of the same things as my mind. So you can press this similar here. This doesn't work for me because you have to have more than 50 items for the AI to find things that are similar to the thing you're on right now. This is also a feature that my mind has uh, where you can actually uh, open up a note or just open up something in your workspace, uh, press uh, similar and it will bring up everything that is similar. This might help you find connections that you would not otherwise be able to find. I still am not the biggest fan of the interface here. I think it has gotten much better, but I'm still not the biggest fan of it. But that is just me personally and just the way the interface works is a highly personal thing. Uh, on the pricing side, let's check out the monthly pricing. It is, it has a free plan which gives you 250 megabytes of storage space. You don't get AI voice notes, you don't get AI assistant, you don't get data connections, and you get, uh, you don't get the AI recap emails. One of the main things uh, or main issues I've had with this application previously when I've talked about it is um, the fact that I only get a hundred answers when I pay six dollars a month. Um, that was something that bothered me the last time. Uh, it still does a little bit, but at least you get unlimited spaces, unlimited items, and you get a hundred gigs of storage space. On the 15... Uh, dollar a month plan you get two terabytes of storage space and you actually get unlimited of everything uh, so i would recommend this unless you aren't going to talk too much with your ai but i found myself using ai more than for a hundred answers each month you also have a plan where you get four terabytes of storage uh, you get um you get uh, AI recap emails that you get here as well. 
Uh, you get browser history sync. Uh, that might be something uh, some people want. Uh, but apart from that, it is mainly the storage space that is different between the plans. Uh, it is storage space and it is also the AI assistant from the basic to the pro plan. But that covers it for today's video. As I said, I think this application looks really interesting. I am... Um, I think it needs a little bit more work, but uh, honestly, if you're looking for something like this, if you're looking for a bookmarking, note-taking application, this might be worth taking a look at because some of the AI features with the similar notes and the AI chat is looking really, really cool. But that covers it for today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching.